Hey guys, today I'd like to do an artist spotlight on a pull-up customizer who probably doesn't need an introduction. I'm gonna introduce her anyway, but um, if you're in this hobby, you have more than likely heard of Poison Girl dolls. Um, she has really blazed a trail for customizers and I know that she is on everybody's wish list. These are beautiful, beautiful dolls. And I am lucky enough to have two of them. Uh, she has a website where she has a gallery of all the dolls that she's um, sold. And then from time to time she does auctions and she also does private sales. So I thought I would share with you my the dolls. Um, I've already done a review of Bunny here. Uh, Bunny was my first and let me tell you, it was a rush. It was such, I actually never thought I'd have a Poison Girl doll because they are so sought after, uh, but I got lucky and uh, I have taken her out of her original outfit and put her in this kind of fun uh, springtime look. She has a little stuffed bunny. She needed one, her name's Bunny. And then I think my favorite thing are her little shoes, um, which I got online, I think maybe from Cool Cat, actually, that had the little bunny ears, so. Um, love, love, love this doll. I love what uh, Maria, the artist, does with their wigs, their eye chips. Um, you'll notice just between these two girls that they have a very uh, distinct look to them in their faces. Uh, Maria has this way of really making these dolls look very, very realistic, right? V very um, unique and beautiful, detailed and uh, innocent, which is, I mean, who doesn't love all those things? Uh, so I'm going to do a full review of Danielle here, but before I do that, I wanted to um, show you kind of how I, two things, I've, I have two stories, about Poison Girl doll, and then I'll, I'll do a review of um, Danielle. The first one is when I just started to collect Pulip. In fact, before I started collecting Pulip, I was on Pinterest and I was kind of curious what these Pulip dolls were about. And I'm searching for dolls and looking at things and this beautiful, beautiful doll popped up on my screen. I didn't know it was a Poison Girl doll. I just knew that was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. If it was a doll that I could dream about, that I really, really wanted to somehow get. I didn't know how it was possible. I didn't know anything about her, but that was kind of my very, very first introduction to Poison Girl dolls. And I'm guessing that was, it might've been for a few of you as well, if you were getting into the hobby. The second thing was, uh, I was given as a gift this book. It's called The Doll Scene. And I'm not exactly a Blythe collector. I'm warming up to Blythe. Um, but anything with dolls, I just absolutely love. And at the time, I was um, a fan of Nary Pozo, still am. But I had seen in here, there's actually a section on Poison Girl dolls. So I'll just show you this really quickly. And it just talks a little bit about her that she started in 2010. And it's got some photos of some of her dolls. And I mean, look at this redhead alone. Just beautiful. And every one of these dolls looks different. So let me put this aside here. Um, and um, so Danielle was my second, um, my second purchase from Poison Girl. I got it right off the website. Again, got super lucky, right place, right time when it came to auction time. She's just adorable. She has, again, that realistic look to her that I just absolutely love. Um, when Maria sends a doll, uh, it's usually in an outfit that is kind of similar to this. She is kind of known for including these adorable earmuffs, a couple of extras, um, sort of this very cute, innocent girl next door um, look to her. So she's got this hoodie, little pink skirt, and then some stockings and kind of some basic shoes, these little leg warmers. She must be hot because it's like 80 degrees here in San Diego. <laughs> Um, so I am probably going to change her up, but I did want you to see her in her original outfit. So let me take this off here and then take her off the stand. And then I want to give you kind of a close up of her face. Okay. So another thing that I really love about Maria's work is she is able to match the eyebrows, which are very um, trademark to her work with the wig. So, I mean, just a perfect match. She also does very, very fun things with her wigs, whether it's trimming them, she has kind of this um, higher uh, bang line, which I think adds to that little girl innocent look. And a couple of other just features about her dolls, the freckles that are very, very realistic. You can see the, um, the lower uh, lashes 
have a kind of a white, um, they have like these little white strands to them. I think it's very uh, trademark to Maria, but you know, you see other customizers kind of picking up on this and making it their own, but I, I wanna say that Maria, re it really felt like it originated with her. And then last but not least, her eye chips have changed over the years. So if you wanna check out her uh, Instagram, you'll notice that the chips were a little bit different, a little variety. She's moved to just kind of going with this very realistic theme. The eyes look very, very real as well. So she just has the prettiest, prettiest eyes. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you the eyelids for both my girls, because they are similar. So um, Maria does a, a couple of things with the lids. Like she can do artwork, um, but I love her polka dots. So you can see with both my girls here, they have kind of a different color palette, but the tiniest, tiniest little polka dots. And she also does the eyelashes, which she makes very, very thick. So even though each one of her dolls is very unique, has its own identity, own name, all of that, um, you really do get a sense when you have a doll like this that it is absolutely one of a kind. Um, I could not be happier to have these in my collection. Um, and I'm always, even though it, they are expensive, let me tell you, you will invest some money and they are worth every penny. Um, I'm always looking to see if there might be another one out there that, that needs to be in my collection. Anyway, if you have any questions about Poison Girl dolls, please let me know. Thanks.